Puerto Rico's mangroves and other coastal habitats are important for both the economy and the environment. They provide homes for wildlife like fish and manatees. They're also nursery grounds for juvenile fish, including commercially important species like snappers and groupers. The mangrove ecosystem is the first barrier we have on land. These are very important ecosystems, not only for the biodiversity of the island, but also for the safety of everyone who lives here. Almost seven years to the date of Hurricane Maria, we are still seeing the aftermath. Several mangrove forests were devastated. When I came here after the hurricane, you know, most of the mangroves around the bay were dead. A lot of the damage was caused by vessels being literally tossed into the mangrove forest. That's where Bordicor comes in. Funded by NOAA, this program is helping young Puerto Ricans restore habitats like mangroves while gaining crucial work experience. NOAA works with partners to restore coastal habitat that benefits fisheries and communities. Some of the barriers that young adults face on the island are access to sustainable wages, and sustainable employment. They're facing the higher cost of higher education. And last but not least, the minimum experience required to get into an entry-level job. Once I graduated, one of the challenges that I faced was a lot of closed doors. I found that to find a paying job on the island, you needed either two years of experience or a master's degree. We are addressing these issues by providing a stipend that is above the minimum wage. They receive an education award at the completion of their term. And also we offer them experiences that will enhance their resume and bridge the gap into future employment. And it's hard work. They're opening water channels to restore the hydrology of the forest and replanting the mangroves in Hobos Bay. And they're doing it by hand opening up those water channels by hand and having machinery and a lot of volunteers and a lot of sweat from our crew. We got to see the water come in and come out more naturally. For planting the mangroves, we first have to go out and collect the propagules. We bring them to the nursery here where we then plant them in the nursery beds. And after they grow a couple months, we then transfer them to the actual sites where they need to be planted. I'm not gonna lie, it's very hard working in the mud and sun, heat, rain, but I have learned a lot of things mentally and physically what I'm capable of. At almost 700 acres, this is the largest mangrove restoration project ever in the United States. They are using a unique approach that's designed to speed up the process of the mangrove regeneration. So it's a lot of hard manual labor, but it's also showing great results. We've been very impressed by Boricor's work. Their enthusiasm, their thoughtfulness, and just this hardworking kind of mentality. The funding provided by NOAA has allowed them to really build that program and bring in new crew members to gain experience, do on the ground habitat restoration. There is still a lot of restoration work to be done and we hope to continue growing our crews throughout the island. I'm proud of the young people that come to our programs, show up every day with great enthusiasm, not only to improve themselves, but improve their communities. Every time they see us working, they honk their horns or wave and ask us, what are you doing? What is this for? And I am very proud that we as young people could help them understand what's happening to their community and make them care about the ecosystem. Being in Bodicor has granted me a lot of not only field experience, but I've also learned from a lot of people. I'm very proud of the team that we have. It's very hard work, so it's very gratifying. Seeing the difference that we're making by restoring these mangroves and the security it gives to the community and all the efforts being made, it's amazing. It's, I don't even have words to describe how very proud that I am.